Hi there, this is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Welcome to today's super sexy, very glamorous video blog on gout. Wow, I get some great subjects. Uh, it's kind of got this uh, stereotypical image of being an old man's disease, hasn't it? But it really isn't. It can affect any age of person. I know people in their early 30s who are in extreme pain due to flare-ups of gout. Uh, and everyone seems to have their own specific trigger, certain food types that are just no-go areas. Uh, I have a friend called Roy. His gout is triggered by cold water fish, would you believe? Kind of, you know, eating cod and mackerel and things like that. If he eats something like that, the next day he's in agony, can't walk. Uh, other people it's pork, other people it's kind of rich foods. Uh, but really gout is caused by uric acid in the blood. And the uric acid crystallizes. And then it kind of floats around the body for a little bit. And then it gets trapped in joints and places like that. And the problem you have when you've got crystals in your joints is every time you move that joint, you crunch the crystals into very sensitive parts of your body, like cartilage and ligaments and things like that. Now, the, the only way the body can respond to this is the same way it responds to all dis-ease, disease, is to create inflammation. And really, all disease is inflammation in the body. So you've got a a double problem here. You've got the pain of the crystals making it very difficult for you to move, and then you've got the inflammation which is going to constrict your movement even more. So it's a very, very painful, very disabilitating condition, uh, and certainly not as kind of throwaway as the stereotype of the old man's gout disease would have you believe. But this video blog is about does alcohol cause gout? And I think we have to be careful about how we answer that question. Does it cause gout? Well, it certainly makes gout flare up if you have it. If you are predisposed to having gout, then drinking alcohol is certainly going to give you more attacks per year than if you didn't drink at all. And it does vary on the type of alcohol. You know, if you drink beer, for example, which has got a lot of yeast and malt and uh, purine in it, and the purine is converted into uric acid, you are exaggerating your chances of having a gout attack. So a lot of beer consumption will lead to more and more gout problems. But there is, a, there is kind of a secondary problem here as well, in that gout is not just something you have once and then you, it goes away and you never have it again. It seems to be something that's going to reoccur in your life many, many times. And you're never going to be cured of it, but you can go into decent periods of remission if you avoid the trigger foods and you don't drink alcohol. But the problem is not drinking alcohol for a lifetime for many people, for most people, is just simply too much to bear. The price is too high. They'd rather take the gout than give up their addiction, basically. Now, we all know that alcohol interferes with prescription medication. Uh, antibiotics is the most common one. We know that if you want the antibiotics to work, you shouldn't drink. And we're kind of okay with that. You know, as drinkers, we can go a week, maybe two weeks without a drink, just for the sake of, you know, letting the antibiotics do their bit. But to consider going a whole lifetime not drinking because it's going to interfere with your gout medication, like I said, for most people, the price is too high and they're not willing to consider it. But if you're serious about getting this problem out of your life, uh, then giving up alcohol is a very good idea. Perhaps it's not the biggest idea and the biggest reason for giving up alcohol, but if it's something you've been thinking about, if you're worried about the amount of alcohol you're drinking, and you also suffer with gout, then it's a very, very pleasant side effect of quitting drinking. Thank you for watching. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, it's not really an expert, not, not really an area I'm an expert in because I've never suffered with gout myself, but I do have friends who have it. And I do know for sure that alcohol uh, helps to trigger it in the human body. So. If you have any other questions or you want me to cover any other subjects, then drop me an email and I'll do my best for you.
Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the members area at stopdrinkingexpert.com.